guys how are you all doing so today i decided to make something very different for a change i made this local garden egg sauce that was so yummy but i did an outdoor cooking so i used firewood to cook it and food influencers how do you all do it this thing was very hot i tried eating directly from the pot man i bought my mom for two good days oh god i don't know how my neighbors really really cope with me because today i'm poached tomorrow you're seeing smoke like where is the smoke coming from oh my god they must be tired of me because myself i'm also tired of me so let's get started so this sauce i paired mine with yam you can pair yours with rice the sauce was really really nice really 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 nice so i started by peeling my yam and then i washed the yam i think i washed it up to like three times because it was really 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 dead see and then i set this on fire and turned the whole compound into barbecue smoke everywhere oh my god i'm so sorry my neighbors and then i went ahead to start prepping the items for my sauce i started by pounding pepper so today this video was actually inspired by baptist amma i did this when he won his uba cooking competition but i couldn't post because i was sick so this was just you know to just congratulate him for his win and for all his win because yeah i'm his big fan you get so he inspired this video so papi water congratulations once again so i boiled this yam and when the yam was soft i took it out because I was doing the traditional way, I did not pour the water from the yam. Mm -mm, we don't do that in the village. We don't waste water in the village because you know we don't have taps. So we have to go all the way down to the stream to get water. So you don't dare waste water. So I took the yam out and then I added the garden eggs back into the water that I used to cook the yam. And let the garden egg cook until it was soft okay so there are different ways you can cook garden egg sauce but mine i just poured it into the water fresh and then when it was soft i pounded it but you can actually slice it you can do it your own way so and because i wanted a little change i didn't do it all traditional sorry because i added tomatoes if you want to do traditional traditional you don't even have to use onions and you don't need tomatoes guys but no because i wanted to use the sauce for both yam and rice i added tomatoes so i started by frying my tomatoes and pepper mix and when it was fried for when the water was dried from that I added in my pounded garden eggs, added salt and crayfish. I did not use seasoning cube because it's a village food. And we don't have seasoning cubes in the village, right? <laughs> we do, we do, but I didn't I didn't see the need to add seasoning cube to this. And then I added my smoked fish and I ended by adding in my curry leaves since i didn't use um any artificial seasoning i decided to still feel that taste of curry by adding curry leaves and guys that was it so that was the queen the egret's wife serving the garden egg sauce with the yam i know you love this video and enjoy watching it so if you've watched to this point please share this video share this video mm -hmm. thank you and I will see you around.